Can we see the chat again? Wobbling is impossible. <laughs> no, w with that attitude it is. Ban wobbling. Um, honestly, I would be in favor of banning wobbling. Not gonna lie. Because wobbling, I, I think it's really stupid. But pretty much the whole of the melee community is against banning wobbling, so whatever. I'll take it, I guess. Yeah, and so like I said, I don't know too much about this matchup, but I'd assume that leaving the ground can be very dangerous. Um, so yeah. Oh, sick pivot tipper. That was nice. Another pivot. Another tipper. I'm doing such a good job of controlling center stage. It's making any time float above him and around him. Yeah, good control of space while staying safe too. That's one of the biggest things, I think, is understanding your opponent's threat range and um, being able to hover in and out of it to control space. And Ayn's doing a good job of that right now. Here we go. Another stock taken already. Tippers. So strong. So powerful. Yeah, now we see anytime cr crouching a little bit more. Jigglypuff's crouch is interesting. So, yeah, he has gotten uh, grabbed a lot already this game, so. Let's see if his crouching will help. Here we go again with Ayn controlling center stage. He just gets any time to the sides, hovering around him and to the sides of him. And anytime's having trouble getting in. Swatting him away with his long sword range. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Castaneda. Who's Castaneda? Okay, I yeah, that makes sense. So I thought he embodies Sam. What do you mean he has to switch characters on the number ten? Who is the number ten on UHPR? Oh wait. Uh does he? No, because anytime is Sam. Can you please clarify, Ginta? Who is the number 10 on UHPR? Oh, do you have the file? Oh no, he was saying number 10 in UH. Not yet. Mind if I look at this though while we're here? So he pulled up the Houston Melee PR edited on September 1st, 2017. No wait, this is an. <laughs> 
Okay, Frankie says you're talking about loose sphincter, which is an interesting tag to say the least. Questionable. <laughs> Marth Samus. I can't say much about that matchup, but I'd assume Marth should beat Samus. But who like, knows? It's like theoretically, it it, it is uh, my favorite matchup. It's just you always have to get a tip because if you don't, you're gonna get trash Yeah. Who does he switch to? Who does Ayn switch to? Uh, I'm guessing Falco. I am not entirely sure. Yeah, so he pulled up the Houston Oh, PR he right switches now. to Samus. Against Samus. Really? <laughs> That's interesting. That doesn't sound like a fun matchup, because it just sounds like a bunch of crouch cancels, projectiles, down smashes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool to look at the PR. I don't know if this is the most recent PR, so we got Mojo number one, right? That's not the most recent? Uh, he took down the most recent because of mistakes, so... Oh, because of mistakes, really? Yeah. Like, there was there was some mistakes and he forgot to um, add, remove people. So, he just took it down. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, I wonder why they struck to FD first, because the platforms are helping out anytime so much. Took it down for other reasons. Okay. Platforms are helping anytime escape um, Ayn's threat range really well. So. Oh, so the most recent is still up. I would. I would like a copy of said PR. It'd be much appreciated. Oh, hey, by the way, Ginta, what do you? How do you feel about being on the hidden boss list? Oh, is it? Yeah, I heard you got put on it because of a, some good placement at DreamHack Austin or something yeah, like he that. So congrats. That's gonna be a meme for a while, I think. <laughs> but congrats, anyways. Three people in chat. Not bad. We've had more, but I'm not gonna complain about three people. We're gonna watch. Why aren't you happy about it? I would assume that you would be. Oh, because he said that, um. Now he has to live up to the expectation of being the hidden boss. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So this game, anytime, is uh, doing a lot better, mainly because of space and now the platform's helping him as well. So. Yeah. That way, if he gets Marth up in the air or onto a platform, it's much harder for Marth to become to get safe again. If he's above Jigglypuff. It's kind of dangerous. That was a risky tip, or a risky F smash. Didn't pay off there. That's for a down throw there. He's not gonna get many conversions, or any conversions off the throws now. 200%. I think there he's going for the side B up tilt, but it traded with the back air, so. Yeah, he's fishing for the tilts here. He does uh he does have a mountain to climb because this is no no easy task. Especially yeah. since he's at a high percent himself as well. Uh, there we go with the game. Anytime taking game two. We'll see where Ayn... It's maybe Yoshi's? Or maybe. Pokemon? I assume Yoshi. Oh, FOD. Okay, that makes sense because FOD has an FD mode. Um, and maybe that's what Ayn's looking for. Um, Plus the varying platform heights makes it easy to hit through the platforms. Yeah, but it's going to be harder to kill off the top than yeah, like Yoshi's or Pokemon. I mean, he could have also gone 
to Pokemon since the middle of the stage is also like FD. Yeah. Max just sneaking up on Kamate. Crouch cancelled the side B, but still got hit with the up tilt. So, we have UH left plus any time in bracket. So. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know sci fi was UH. Yeah, he is. Uh, I believe he's an honorable mention on the UHPR, if I'm okay. not mistaken. Ooh, good grab. Yeah, this stage is helping Ein out a lot by making him able to stay just in that middle zone underneath all the platforms. He's honorable mention, so he's number 11. Okay, you were right. Oh, oh got okay. stuck under FOD. I am tired. I had a very long day yesterday and didn't get that much sleep last night, so... What'd you say? I said I'm very tired. I had a long day yesterday and didn't get much sleep last night. That sucks. Melee is the one thing I think that puts me to sleep the easiest. So if I'm just sitting there watching a VOD on YouTube or something, it I go to sleep so easily. Really? So I'm actually getting a little bit sleepy too. It's harder for me to think of stuff to say. Yeah. But Sam's actually pulling away with this game. Yeah. He's Ooh. Wow, and that still B. didn't kill. Yeah, he's milking the stock. Making Ayn work for the kill move. And he's just stacking on percent as long as he can survive. Ooh. Right. Ayn's getting these tippers left and right. Let's see if he can get an early tipper. Ooh. Yeah, and just like that, anytime he's got a full stock lead. Yep. It's gonna be really hard for Ayn to get that get that stock back. Oh almost got the tipper right there. Ayn's oh okay. What's gonna make it this? See, that has the biggest uh, knockback I think, but it doesn't get the highest percent. Do you know what it does? Would it be a fully charged tipper? I believe so. I don't know. Just guessing. And he also could have gotten the tipper. He actually missed the tipper there, so... If he would have gotten the tipper, he would have gotten sent a little bit further. Still wouldn't have killed, though. Yo, I'm actually finding a tipper. Tying up the stocks. Yeah, any times... He's going to be willing to take trades now. That'll get Marth off stage. Yeah. He just put up that wall of aerials. But Ayn is inching this game back. Oh. Alright, well, we'll see where Ayn takes him this time. See if. You think he's gonna stay? Stay Marth? No, stay FOD. I don't think so. I think he might go Yoshi's. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, he goes Yoshi's. Go! 
I feel like I can do well well on this uh, stage because of um, not that much room for a Jigglypuff to maneuver and um, closer blast zones. So yeah. Yeah, and it tippers through the platform very easily. F smash yes. will tipper. And Ayn, that's been one of Ayn's biggest kill moves so far. So maybe he'll be able to find more of those on Yoshi's. It's good that he didn't side B. Yo, he, he knows when to let that F smash rip. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Another tipper in neutral for 20 damage. A non tipper for 10 more. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Just a random tipper in neutral. That almost killed too because anytime wasn't ready for that. Ooh. Oh, he goes for another one. He's good at those pivots. Nice, tipper up tilt. So one thing I think that Ayn did really well in game one, where he won, uh -huh. was threatening any times um, space, uh -huh. but not exposing himself too much. So staying just outside of threat range. And he's doing a good job of that now too. So swinging his sword outside of any times threat range, keep himself safe. And right there, two times of commentator's curse of him being too close to any time. <laughs> Ooh, tipper down smash. Sends you up. <laughs> it's funny how down smash never sends you down, but it sends you every other way. This is true. Uh, ooh. Anytime stage. getting the lead again. I'm not getting any shield drops, so it's going to... Yeah, so here in neutral, we see Ayn swinging a lot, but staying uh, just outside the threat range, getting the tipper. Ooh. Oh! That was a good crouch cancel. Anytime throughout the set, also kept working in more crouch cancels. Uh-huh. Which led to the final kill of the set.